The fact is that if there's one area in which India should be a world leader, it's the green economy. Uh, let me suggest to you some reasons why, f amongst all the countries in the world, why the green economy should matter for us. First and foremost, the green economy is a matter of livelihoods. It's not just a matter of lifestyles. Uh, in the West, it's a matter of lifestyles. For us, it's a matter of livelihoods. Uh, and unless we protect livelihoods, unless we improve the value of our traditional livelihoods, uh, we are not going to be able to make our economic growth inclusive, which is our objective. What you're seeing, uh, protests in the name of environment, protests against steel plants, against aluminum smelters, against hydro projects, against coal mines, against ports, uh, Part of it, of course, is the natural tendency of, you know, to oppose something that is new or the fear of the unknown. But part of it is also a genuine fear born out of a concern that traditional livelihoods are going to get uh, damaged and destroyed. So I think this livelihoods concern is of paramount importance to us. And therefore, uh, in order to address the livelihood issue, we need uh, much more attention uh, to the what is what I call the green economy. Second, we are now becoming the victims uh, of a phenomena in which environmental issues are beginning to impinge on public health. No longer is the environmental issue a straightforward environmental issue. It's now increasingly becoming a public health issue. The incidence of cancer in Bhatinda in Punjab. The cause of it is environmental. The incidence of respiratory diseases in Bangalore, our IT capital, where the incidence of respiratory diseases amongst children, apparently, according to the figures that I have seen, have gone up fourfold over the last 30 years. That's also on account of environmental factors. So increasingly, you will see that although people may not relate to environmental issues as we understand them to be uh, the, in, terms of the, in, in terms of the discourse that we are accustomed to, increasingly environment is becoming a public health issue. It's only when public health is ensured for people that you can really say that your economy is doing well. Thirdly, there's the issue of climate change. I mean, is there any country in the world that is more vulnerable to climate change in India? No. We are still dependent, in spite of all our economic growth, we are still dependent on the monsoon for our prosperity. We are still dependent on the monsoon not only for our agricultural prosperity, but also for its multiplied effects in other sectors of the economy. We are still dependent on the health of the Himalayan glaciers as far as water security in the northern part of our country is concerned. We are still dependent. Large coastal communities in India, almost 200 million of them, depend on what is going to happen to them in terms of mean sea levels as a consequence of global warming. And finally, we have to worry about green economy and sustainability because we are one of the few countries in the world which has an increasing population. I'm sorry to say, in Western countries, when they see future generations, I have to say, future generations, where are they? <laughs> Including in Akim Steiner's own country, where the projections are that German population is going to come down from 80 million to 60 million over the next 25 or 30 years. If there's one country in the world which is going to see an increase in population, uh, it's going to, is India. We're going to add whatever we do we're going to add, even if by some mirac miraculous intervention, we, our population growth rate reduces to zero, we're still going to have another 350 or 400 million people because of the sheer momentum, the demographic momentum that we have. So we need to worry about the green economy because number one, it's a matter of livelihoods. Two, it's a matter of public health. Three, it's a matter of dealing with climate change. And four, because it has to factor in the demographic reality in which really India is unique.